on with this shit like I'm Dennis. I started this shit on my penis. Niggas be hating, trying to blemish my image. Who want to smoke? Yo, the soda, rain your motor. It's your boy Suave AJ, and I'm back with another video. In today's video, this video will be set aside from all different types of videos that I do. Because in today's video, I will be giving you guys the sauce, the ingredients on how to get 360 ways with straight hair. Yes. I will be showing you guys how to get 360 ways with two simple products that I personally love. And the products are, I'm not gonna tell you yet because you're gonna have to watch the rest of the video, you feel me? Before you watch the video, go like, go comment, and if you're new to the channel, baby, subscribe. Baby, we on the road to 10K. We are only 1,634 subscribers left yet to, to get to 10K. Let's get to it. Suave team, y'all gotta put on. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let's get to the video, y'all. Now, this video right here is the video before the haircut. Yes, I know my hair is really bushy right now. I look really messy, but that's just because I've been wolfing for like about three to four weeks. And what wolfing is, it's basically you growing your hair out and brushing at the same time, throwing your products in at the same time, and leaving your do-rag in for like a very good amount of time. So I've been growing my hair for like about three to four weeks, just brushing, brushing, brushing. But now, now it's time to get the haircut and transform it and come back to life, baby. You see it right now. You see it's really bushy, a lot of hair right now. But let's get to the haircut, we come right back. Mmm. First thing I will tell all my straight hair waivers is one important thing to do as you're trying to get straight hair waves is to brush, 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 and brush. That's the most, that's the main thing that you gotta do to get the straight hair waves. Now there's different type of brushes out there. There's a medium, there's a soft, there's a hard. Now, do not use a hard brush. The hard brush will only straighten your hair even more. Why? Because it's hard. Because what waves are, waves are laid down curls, waves are laid down curls. So now with a strong, hard brush, it's gonna pull, it's gonna pull and pull your curls, it's gonna make it straight. What I recommend you guys to use is to either get a medium or a soft brush. Now what I use personally, I use the medium, medium curved brush. Now with the curve, with the curve it works much better. Why? Because the curve gets every single, every single side of your hair. So if I'm brushing the top, it's gonna get the side as well. If I'm brushing this side, it's gonna get this side. If I'm brushing the back, it's gonna get the side. So this gets every angle of your hair and it makes, it makes the 360 come in faster. If you are beginning to get waves or are you on, or or you're in the progress of getting waves, do not use a comb yet. Do not use this yet. Because what this is gonna do is gonna straighten your hair. Now, with the brush, it's gonna lay it down and get the curls going while it's laid down. This is gonna straighten it. You only get to use the comb when your waves are there and already trained. So for me, I just go ahead slightly, 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 and what the comb does, it connects it down. So if I see it's not connecting on this side, I go ahead and starts forming the waves little by little. And us straight hair, straight hair waves are luckier than all different type of waves. Why? Because the comb helps a lot for us once the waves are already trained. So once your waves are already trained and you already see them there and they're already in progress, but if you see a lot of progress going on, you see the waves are going on, like they're all connecting and stuff like that. What you can start doing, what I do a lot is I brush, 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 correct? I brush a lot. And then after I brush, after my brushing session, I go ahead and I grab the comb. I either grab the thick side, like right now, I would grab the thick side. Why? Because it's not really, I don't really want it to, with this, I don't really want it to pull so much. With the thinner side, I don't really want it to pull so much. That, that's like more in, more at night time. When I'm done brushing a lot, like right now I have my products in, that's for my hair. My hair already looks like shiny and stuff like that. So right now what we're gonna do, I go ahead and I brush, brush, right? I brush every side, brush the top. Then I grab the comb and I get it connected. As you can see, I get to connect. This is where, this is where the pattern of the wave starts forming as you're combing. 
also when you're combing, what the combing does as you're combing, it kind of it puffs up your hair just a little tinsy bit. Not so much, just a little tinsy bit. You can't even you can't even notice it right now, but just a little tinsy bit. So what I do now is these are the products that I use. The products are something that is very important to the waves, alright? Now for the products, I do not use pomade. I don't use um like all, all those all the type of pomades that's like that. anything that says waves on it or 360 or anything like that as in like 360 style um just a whole bunch of pomade stuff i don't use any of that because it's unhealthy for your hair what i like to use i like to use natural products that are healthy for your hair and that bring vitamins to your hair because it's really healthy so my first product is this the curling hand smoothie by Shea Moisture. Now, this is one of my favorites because when I first cut down my hair, I, when I first started waving, I cut my hair down to like a three or like a two. First thing I started using was this. Why? Because it brings my hair down and lays it down and it starts curling up for me as I put this in before I put the do-rag on. So, first thing I do is I go ahead and I throw a little bit of this on. So when you pop open the Shea Moisture, what you want to grab is just a little tinsy bit, about this much. Right here, focus that. About that much is good. Once you go ahead and you spread it around your arms, you get it real white. Just wait till it gets really, really white. And once you see it's really, really white, you're good to go. All right, there you go, it's really white. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna go, you wanna spread it with the ways that your ways are going. So if these ways are going down this way, this is going down this way, this is going down that way. The back is going down. Go ahead, go ahead and keep Keep applying the product till you don't have any more in your hands. So keep going. All right, there's no more on my hands. Yes, I have a lot of hair on my hands because I remind you, this is after the haircut. So yeah, I have a lot of hair on my hands, but there's no more product on my hands. After I apply the product, I get to brush it again. Once the Shea Moisture is in there, we get the brush. Get the brush, get the brush. The thing about Shea Moisture, Shea Moisture really gets shine to your hair as well. So once you mix this in with the second product that I'm about to give you guys, as you can see, the Shea Moisture added shine to my hair. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is this is after after I've been brushed with the Shea Moisture in my hair. Now, after you apply Shea Moisture. This, this is another product that I personally buy. You can't really find in stores. You'd have to buy it online on a website. This is the product. Zanabu Cosmetics Natural. It's the African Essential Oil Mix. I will put the, I'm gonna put the link in the description down below for you guys to go ahead and purchase this right here. Now, this is very healthy for your hair. The ingredients are rosemary essential oil, shea butter, coconut oil, olive oil, castor oil, uh, bergamot oil, sage oil, tea tree oil, vitamin E, and amber. Now, this is very healthy for your hair. Every single one of those ingredients that I said are natural. So for the oil, what you want to grab is just a little bit. About that much of oil is fine for your hair. Go ahead and scrub that as well. See, now that my hands are full of oil, I go ahead and I rub it all around my hair with the waves that are, the waves are going. So this is going down right here, going down to the side, going down to this side, on top, the back. Now the waves are soaking up all that healthy vitamins and stuff into my hair so it's, it makes it look more healthy and more shiny. So once I add the oil to my hair, I go ahead and do the same exact thing, but this time I add the comb. I get the brush in. Now this is my hair after I use the two simple products that I use, the Shea Moisture and the oil. As you can see, my waves are very shiny. They look very healthy. They look very noticeable, so you can see them from miles away off these just these two products that I use. And what I would do after I apply these two products, I I either do this before I go out or before I go to sleep. But what I do after I apply these two products is I go ahead and I grab my silky do rag. Yes, I don't use any other type of do rag. It has.
has to be silky. The silkiness plays a big role in my waves because it, it, it's what makes it shine and makes it very big waves like this. So the silkiness brings the shines and I feel like for me, the silkiness, it gives my waves more depth so it makes it deeper. A recap of the video, what you gotta do is you gotta brush, 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 brush. Remember, do not use the comb yet if your waves are not trained. If your waves are in progress and you see that the waves are there and they're coming and they're forming more, then you can go ahead and use the comb to go ahead and connect your waves. But if you're starting, if you're a month in and you don't see no waves in, do not touch a comb yet. Just keep brushing, brushing, brushing. Use the product, use the shea moisture, use the oil. The shea moisture will give you, it will make your hair healthier and it's gonna make it thicker. So the shea moisture will play a big role in your waves. So go ahead, get the shea moisture. I'm gonna put the oil in the description of the link in the link below. Stay consistent, keep using those products. Brush, brush, brush. Every time you're not brushing or if you're at home chilling or if you're in the gym, Make the wear a do rag. I'm not telling you wear a do rag 24/7, but wear a do rag to lay down your waves. If you're at home chilling, not doing anything, and you're not brushing your hair, wear a do rag. Every time you're not brushing your hair, wear a do rag. If your waves are formed and they're connected already, what you can do is you can use the comb to go ahead and start connecting your waves even more and give it more definition. Buy a silky do rag. Don't buy any other type. If it's not a silky do rag, you're not living right. Get you a silky do-rag, it's gonna give your waves more definition, it's gonna make your waves look nice, and it's gonna give it more depth. Thank you guys for watching, it's your boy Swagger J. Before the video ends, please go like, go comment, and if you're new to the channel, go subscribe. We on the road to 10K, baby, let's get to it.